Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Hey, why don't you join me next month for YouTube Live? I'm going to try it out, see how I get on. Hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we should hopefully get a lot of people there. That should be great. I've started a poll to find out what people want to cover. At the moment, half the people want me to cover this new Vectorworks user interface, the new UI, if you like. Now, mostly it's similar to what it was, but the big, big change is this toolbar and view bar at the top here. Now, there's lots of little tweaks that are going to help out. And I'm finding as I jump between 2023 and 2024, I'm really struggling with the new location of things, which is really the first question. Can I move these things around? And the answer is no. You can turn them off, you can turn them on, but you're not allowed to move them around. For example, I can't move these views here. I can't move them down the other end if I want. So let's have a quick look. Now, the first thing that's really nice is this change to adding the text up here. Not only that, but the text also has samples so you can see exactly what that font is going to look like. These are the ones that I tend to use most often, and I've got the little samples there. Now, the really nice change to the user interface is the clarity of whether these snaps, for example, are turned on or turned off. Everything that's activated has now this lovely blue color and when it's not activated, it has got a completely different color. It used to be very subtle before, a slight change in grayness. This time it's really distinct. It's either on blue or it's off black. This area is known as the Quick Preferences area. So in the Quick Preferences area, which we can change here, we can see there are two sides to this. We've got whether they're activated and whether they're actually on the toolbar. So this thumbtack means that they're pinned to the toolbar. Turn it off and you can see instantly that they disappear. Turn it on, turn it off, and so on. Now, there are some like this auto save, which I have turned on. I've got it activated, but I actually haven't got it pinned because it's not something I want to see a lot of. I like to see the broken display, but I don't want to change it. The things that I want to change would be things like the show other objects while in edit modes. That's pinned up here, but it's not currently activated. So I can turn it on and off when I need it. So that's the first thing is this changing color, which I think is really useful. It's really going to make it easy for you to know whether those things are activated or not. And you can choose whether you want to have them shown on the toolbar. And you can see this icon here for activation. Now, the same thing appears up here when we go to the settings. Here, we just see the thumbtack. These are on. If we get rid of them, you can see the view bar changes instantly. I tend to have most of these turned on. At some point, I like to see all of these. If you don't like them, that's fine. You can turn them off. I'm not that worried. Um, but I'm just showing you that if it's got the black, it's not activated. If it's blue, it's, it's activated. The snaps haven't changed a lot, but they've changed their color. So for example, if you double click, we've got these same settings here, the snap settings here for snap to object, snap to angle, double click, opens up the snap to angle. You might notice I've also got the 15 degrees. You just have to put a semicolon type 15 degrees to add that one. Snap to intersection. There's not many choices there. The smart points. This one is really useful. I tend to have these settings turned on. I don't tend to set the datum if the mouse stops for two seconds. I find that it keeps resetting my datum as soon as I turn around. So I use the G key. And if you don't know about the floating datum, please check out my Vectorworks Foundation course, where I go into detail about how to use these snaps. We've now got changes up here. So this is still the teapot. The teapot's the international sign of rendering. So we've got the teapot options here, or the rendering options. Here we've got data visualization. We've got the layers here. So we can add new layers, create new layers. This is much easier for you to read. Also, for large projects, we've now got this ability to search. So if I search for framing, there it is. It's brought up my roof framing, my framing plan. Very cool, this search ability. Now I use a lot of classes. You can see there's loads of classes. So if I look up site, then it starts to show all my site classes so I can find those much more easily. That's a really nice change. So orthogonal, perspective, they're over here now. They used to be over this side. So when I'm teaching, I often get confused going to the wrong side. And then we've got the custom views up here. Uh, now, I don't tend to use the custom views up here very much because I tend to use my numeric keypad, and that works really well. And then we've got the align plane, the auto plane. This is where automatic working plane is now just over here. 
So that's just a quick rundown for the for the interface. The toolbar here hasn't really changed a lot. The tools have changed, obviously. So you choose a tool, you see a different set of options there. Choose the custom cabinet. You can see I'm just playing with cabinets down here at the moment. So those have got different ways of working. So keep your eye on. If you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to subscribe so that you see the movies when I post them. Now, if you want to get more detail and you want to really understand Vectorworks completely, become a member because in those movies, I actually create much more detailed movies showing exactly what's going on. Thanks for watching.